A portion of this video is sponsored by Minitool Software. More about them later on. Samsung's A-series devices have always been extremely successful when it comes to global smartphone sales for the company. And the Galaxy A24, which I will be reviewing today, is proof as to why the series is so popular worldwide. The A24 packs the most crucial features that the average person needs all into a device which costs just around 5,000 rands or just over 200 US dollars in the United States. If you want to find out whether this device is for you, then make sure to watch this video till the end. Also, if this is your first time here on the channel, please do consider subscribing for more awesome videos. Okay, taking a look at the unboxing of the A24, it's a pity to see Samsung removing the charger from the box. Even though there is a USB-C to USB-C cable given, the lack of a charger is very disappointing. Fortunately, I did receive a Samsung clear case from the retailer I bought the phone from. However, not everyone who buys this phone will receive this. Also, just a reminder to those that buy this phone in South Africa, make sure to redeem your free Galaxy Buds Live from the Samsung Members app. This is a big bonus for those based in South Africa. Before we move on to the review, a quick word from today's sponsor. If you guys are interested in a piece of software that allows you to easily manage, create, delete, or resize your hard drives and partitions on your PC, then check out this free software called Mini Tool Partition Wizard. I will leave links for you in the description below if you are interested. Okay, let's continue with the review. Taking a look at the design and construction of the phone, the back of the A24 is made from plastic, or as Samsung call it, plastic. This side, the sides of the device is also plastic. The phone does not feel cheap at all. However, um, it's definitely not premium feeling like on the flagships. You'll definitely notice that. I have the lime, lime green color here, as you can see. However, you can get it in black, white, and red. In South Africa, though, it seems at the moment like it's only in lime green and black. Anyway, moving on to the display, the A24 has a 1080p AMOLED screen with a refresh rate of 90 Hz. The display can get extremely bright, peaking in at around 1000 nits of brightness. This is plenty bright for outdoor usage. The AMOLED screen allows for a fantastic media experience as you get inky, inky blacks and very vibrant colors. The 90 Hz refresh rate makes the phone feel snappy when scrolling and doing day-to-day -day tasks. However, it does not have an adaptive refresh rate meaning it will not dial down to a lower refresh rate in certain instances. And as a result, this will take a slight toll on the battery. Speaking about the battery, the A24 has a 5000 mAh battery. The battery life has been fantastic for me so far, with the phone lasting more than a full day with my usage. You can even get two full days if you are a light user. The phone can charge at 25 watts, However, like I showed in the unboxing early on, you will need to buy your own 25 watt charger. In the camera department, the A24 has a triple camera setup. This includes a fantastic 50 megapixel main sensor with optical image stabilization, a 2 megapixel macro lens, as well as a 5 megapixels ultra wide camera. The front camera is a 13 megapixel shooter. The cameras can get some very decent shots in good lighting conditions. However, in certain lighting, the colors can look a little bit washed out. It took some time to, to get the portrait mode to work correctly, but even after getting the subject to focus, the edge detection was not the best. The macro lens does work relatively well on this phone, surprisingly. Overall, I'm quite satisfied with the picture quality of the A24. When it comes to videos, the phone takes videos at 1080p with 30 frames per second, and the implementation of optical image stabilization on the sensor makes a big difference when taking video as you definitely get a more smoother result. Here is a quick video and microphone test. It takes a little bit of a while to focus does have optical image stabilization which definitely helps with video footage helps with the shakiness 
not a bad device. Taking a look around the device, the bottom of the device has a headphone jack, which is always a welcome inclusion, the main mic, USB-C port for charging, and the one and only speaker. The top of the device has the secondary mic, the left hand side of the phone has the dual SIM tray with a dedicated SD card slot, up to one terabyte you can put in there for an, for an SD card, and the right hand side has the volume rockers and lock button, which doubles as a fingerprint sensor. Okay, now speaking about that fingerprint sensor, the physical fingerprint sensor was super fast and accurate. And I actually personally prefer it over the in-display optical sensors. The speaker system on the phone is average at best, and the position uh, on the side of the phone sometimes gets in the way, especially when you're gaming. Here is a quick audio test. It has a modern looking design, great cameras, and fantastic battery life. But is it worth your money? Well, let's find out. Okay, now taking a look at the internals powering this phone. The A24 is powered by the MediaTek Helio G99 processor. This is a 6 nanometer octa-core processor. The phone comes with 4 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. I think in other regions though, you can get 6 and 8 gigs of RAM, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, using the phone day to day was very smooth. I think the Helio G99 is a great processor for these cheaper phones and combined with Samsung's fantastic One UI software and as well as the 90Hz refresh rate, the experience using this phone has been great. When it comes to gaming, I was able to play PUBG at HD graphics and Call of Duty and Asphalt 9 were also playable. The phone is definitely not for hardcore gamers, just keep that in mind. However, you can definitely get some decent gaming performance from this guy if you really want to game. For those interested in benchmarks, the A24 got a single core of 712 and a multi-core score of 1797 on Geekbench. Also, the N22 score benchmark was around 320,000. In the software department, the phone runs on Android 13, and like I said earlier on, it's running on Samsung's One UI 5.1. Also, this phone will definitely be getting regular software and security updates for the next couple of years. Okay, so wrapping this review up. If you need a good smartphone that is excellent for media consumption, has smooth day-to-day -day performance, and will get the job done for general everyday tasks such as emails, web browsing, social media, and even some light gaming, the Galaxy A24 is the perfect phone for you. However, if you're someone who is heavily reliant on their cameras and wants just more power for gaming or more intensive apps, then perhaps you are better off taking a look at the Galaxy A34 or Galaxy A54. Okay, so that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, it's been an absolute pleasure having you here, and I'll see you in the next one.